First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Hebrew, it's called Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rahach, Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. Salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. In peace, blessings and healings on to the elect, because that's why we do these videos. And uh, today, man, you know, I want to talk about this. Um, two days ago, I was watching um, ESPN's YouTube. I was just clicking through the videos, seeing what everybody was talking about. And I clicked on a WNBA video. I don't even know why, because I don't really care about the WNBA. I just wanted to see what they was talking about, because, you know, WNBA players are over there in Ukraine right now. And uh, I guess the union, WNBA players union, is trying to get them out of there and bring them back home or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, I was watching that, and then this statement popped up. It says, WNBA Players Union Statement. Okay? It says, We have been in constant communication with our members and their representatives for several weeks, and will continue to stay abreast of current events. We are the union for the 144 all year round, and their safety is the highest concern. This is uh, Yahabba Shemesha giving messages to us, man. You know, because there's a lot of trials and tribulations about to come, persecution and everything. Yahab Shah said their safety is our highest concern, man. Yahab Shah up there having meetings with the angels, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just want to get a couple of scriptures because, you know, Israel is compared to a delicate woman, man. We're Yahab Shah's woman at the end of the day. You know, uh, what does a woman on earth look for her man to do? Provide, um stability and protection you know what i'm saying and she's supposed to have faith in her man that he can do that and you know comparing it to we're supposed to have faith in the and Mishai that he'll do everything for us you know what i'm saying and then it says you know the 144 is his high his highest concern the remnant is his highest concern you know point blank period you know you have is going to judge the nations he is um you know, going to um, F these people up, you know, but he is going to protect his elect, man, point blank, period, you know. So this is Jeremiah 6 and 2. It says, I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman, man. So that's what I thought when I seen this, okay, because, you know, the 144 is basically the elect, and then you got the multitude, the one-third. But the one four four is basically going to be the government of the kingdom, you know what I'm saying? You got senators and uh, mayors on this side. Um, you know, what else you got? You got your vice president. You got people under him. So the one four four is going to be the government in Israel, man. And he said this is his highest concern, you know, these people. You know, because they're on the earth today, man. You know, Yahweh Shemesha is protecting them, guiding them through this walk. You know what I'm saying? And um, everything else. So I want to get at a couple of scriptures, you know, because with this picture I posted, uh, Psalms 91. Psalms 91, the whole thing is a banger. You know what I'm saying? It says, uh, Psalms 91, and when he dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Yahweh Shemeshah, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and him will I trust. You know, because we know that Jacob's trouble's coming, a lot of hell's about to come, but Yahweh Shemeshah said he got us, man. It says, I will say of Yahweh Shemeshah, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, and him will I trust. You know what I'm saying? Point blank, period. You know, um, you go down to Psalms 91 and 11, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Okay? Point blank, period. Yahweh Shemeshah. You know, it was going to protect his own, man. You know what I'm saying? This is Psalms um, 34 and 7. It says, The angel of Yahweh Shemeshah and campeth around about them that fear him and deliver them. You know what I'm saying? And what I saw when I seen this message, basically, you know, they have a meetings up there, up in heaven, man. You know, just like uh, you read Job, Satan uh, came to the meeting room. And all that. So they up there having meetings. And you know everything is already planned out. So Yahweh Hashem and Shah got us. You know we just got to. You know make it to the end of the story. We got to endure. We got to endure. But Yahweh Hashem and Shah is going to help us along that way man. 
You know what I'm saying? This is uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7. It says, At last for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So we know that Jacob's trouble is coming, man. You know, persecution is coming, but he shall be saved out of it. You know what I'm saying? You have a Shemeshach Gossus, man. This is Daniel's 12 and 1, the time of the end. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince was standing for the children of the people. Michael Allah is an angel, man. And there shall be a time of trouble. This is talking about in the end days that we're closely heading towards, man, because, you know, you already got Russia, inflation, you know what I'm saying? Economy about to crash. It's about to be a lot of hell out here, man. You know, and you're going to have to call on your Habba Shemeshai, and your Habba Shemeshai is going to protect you, man, through all the, through the whole thing until the nuclear missiles start falling. You know, we got to make it all the way to the end to be saved. You know, Christians believe that there's a pre-tribulation rapture. No, man. We got to endure all that stuff. Okay? It says, such as never was since there was a nation, even to the same time. And at that time, that people shall be delivered. Everyone that should be found written in the book. So, you know, going back to this, you know, we have been in constant communication with our members and their representatives for several weeks. So, who are you? How about some of representatives? The angels, man. In constant communication, you know what I'm saying? You know, going back to Daniel's 12, man, Michael was an angel, man. You know, we know they have meetings up there in the heavens. You can read Job, and uh, let me just get it real quick. You know, Job went through a lot of hell, you know. But it says, um, it says, now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before Yahweh and Mashiach, and Satan came also among them. So, you know, we know that uh, Yahweh and Mashiach has meetings up there in the heavens. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Satan came to this meeting that one day, you know, and uh, we saw what happened to Job. Because Yahweh and Mashiach wanted to show Satan that uh, Job is down for the cause. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, keep going with the scriptures. This is Acts 14 and 22. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. So even though, you know, you know, WNBA players out there in Ukraine, you know, ain't no telling if they came home yet. They wouldn't let, let nobody leave. So it ain't no telling what's going on. But you compare it to... When I'm talking about Yahweh Shemeshai, is going to protect his woman, basically. Okay? Point blank, period. You know? And uh, this is Sirach chapter 2. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And make not haste in time of trouble. Make not haste in time of trouble because Yahweh Shemeshai got us. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art charged and changed to a lower state. Because Yahweh Shemeshiah brought us to a lower state, you know, to basically get us right. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Okay. Believe in him and he will help thee order thy way right. And trust in him. So we just got to trust in the how much of Mashiach, man. You know, um, everything's going to play out how it's supposed to play out. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. And go that, and go not aside, lest ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Okay? Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Nope. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Nope. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? You know, the real names. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiven sins and saveth in time of affliction. Okay? Woe be to the fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not, therefore shall he not be defended. So y'all people that's um unfaithful and don't believe in your house, he's not gonna defend you in times of trouble, man. 
Okay. Point blank period. Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. And they that love him will keep his ways. And what does it say in uh, Psalms 34? You know, um, basically the angel of Yehovah Shemeshah encampeth around about them that fear him and deliver them. You go to Psalms 91 and uh, basically 11. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Okay, so Yehovah Shemeshah is going to keep you in all his ways, man. He's going to help you along that way. Okay, it says, They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight, saying, We will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. For as the majesty is, so is his mercy. So we got to trust you how about your Messiah at all costs, man. Point blank period because he's sending, the, he's sending us messages. Hey, I got you. Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Point blank period. You know. This is Isaiah 40, 41 and 10. Fear not, fear thou not, I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. You know, this is Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. You know, Yahweh Shemeshah, you know, he going to protect us, man. He going to feed us when we hungry. You know, famine's coming. He going to give us some water to drink when we thirsty. You know what I'm saying? And you got to have the faith to believe that. Because what does it say in Sirach chapter 2 and 10? Look at the generations of old, man. Did they did they fret? No, man. You know, and you can get that in uh, Hebrews. Um, let me make sure I can. I remember the triumphs of faith. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. For by it. Elders obtained a good report through faith. We understand that works were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith Abel, by faith Enoch, by without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh for God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith Noah, by faith Abraham, you know what I'm saying? So these are our forefathers, man. By faith, man, they, uh, by faith, Isaac, by faith, Jacob, by faith, Joseph, by faith, Moses. Okay. Look at the generations of old, man. Just like it says, and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? No, man. And we got to have that same energy, man. You know, you have a shot sending us messages basically saying, I got y'all, man. Don't worry about it. We are the union for the 144 all year round, man. Yahweh Shemeshah got his uh, elect, man, point blank, period. You know, and this is a beautiful thing. This is a super beautiful thing. This is um Psalms 18 and um 6. It says, In my distress, I called upon Yahweh Shemeshah and cried unto my God. And he heard my voice out of his temple. And my cry came before him even into his ears. Okay, so Yahweh Shemeshah got his point blank, period, man. Okay, no matter what. No matter what, okay? Because that's when we're supposed to call on you, how much Mashiach in our distress, you know. But it says, um, Psalms 27 and 5, For in time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. You know what I'm saying? So you how much Mashiach got us, like I said, man, we don't have nothing to worry about. You know, just keep the faith. It's going to be a bumpy ride, but hey, man, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And the Lord told us this wasn't going to be easy. Okay, so let's get some other scriptures, 118 and 8. Um, it says, it is better to trust in your house, but shy than to put confidence in man. Because who are you going to trust? At the end of the day, you're going to trust man. Things of man come to naught. You trust in your house, but shy. He already read out everything that's going to happen. You just want him to keep you. You know, uh, he, 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 you just want him to keep you in all his ways. Okay, point blank, period. It is better to trust in Yahweh Hashem Shah than to put confidence in princes. You know what I'm saying? So it's better just to trust in the Lord, man. You know, when he'll see that, point blank, period. You know, this is um Isaiah 12 and 2. 
It says, Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For Yahweh is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation, man. You know what I'm saying? Point blank, period, man. Just keep the faith, man. You have a shot send sentence message say he got us, man. It's going to be a bumpy ride out here, but, you know, just endure. This is Psalms 112 and 7. He shall not be afraid of evil time as his heart is fixed. Trusting in Yahweh Shemeshah, man. So, you know, 